What is up, everybody? Coach Pat coming at you with another pros and cons video. And today we're going to be talking about this Netgear Nighthawk AC1900 Wi Fi USB 3.0 adapter. Man, that was a long intro. But, anyways, USB Wi Fi adapter. It is 3.0 USB, whatever, all that good stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the details down below. But for starters, this thing kicks butt. Solved all my problems. So there's a lot of good pros and maybe one, maybe two cons. Other than that, let's get started, man. Hi, hello, and what's up, everybody? Welcome to PC by CP or Pros and Cons by Coach Pat, where I give you real life evaluations on everyday products. If you enjoy the video, hit that like button and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. This Wi Fi USB adapter solved all my problems. So, number one, Pro, it works great. Amazing. I did read a lot of reviews and saw some other uh, reviews on YouTube. And so I said, you know what the heck, let's give it a try. And my laptop. It is a little bit older laptop, um, so it doesn't have the USB 3.0, but nonetheless, it is backwards compatible, so it doesn't really matter. The old laptop was having connectivity issues, basically. So I was surfing, shopping, doing whatever it is that I do on the internet, and all of a sudden, bam, cut off, and then I would kind of have to reconnect and then again, later, maybe five, 10, 15 minutes, reconnect. And it was just getting annoying, especially when you're, uh, you know, working from home sometimes and you know, you got to have a good steady connection and it wasn't happening. I was frustrated to say the least. So again, went out and got this one problem solved. Number one pro it works and it works great. Pro number two, uh, it comes with a little base. I'm going to show you guys right now I'll be back I'm back so that little base this is the base that it comes with this is the adapter this is the base you plug in the adapter into the base bam you can adjust the antenna the height the angle kind of you can move this around on your desk if you use it on a desktop it's even better because sometimes your desktop goes down below on the desk, kind of in a corner. So there's more things blocking it. The desk itself, maybe you, your chair, who knows where, what other stuff you got, you know, underneath the desk. But anyways, if you put it over the desk, because it has a pretty, look, a pretty good long USB uh, cable to it. And again, this is a USB 3.0, so it does have the little blue thingy-majiggy inside, which tells you it's a 3.0. Plug it into your computer, your laptop, your tablet, desktop, whatever it is. Put it all over your desk, maybe on a shelf, maybe over some books, who knows what. You have less interference or less things blocking it. You have a better angle, better view directly at your router, so you're going to get even a better signal. Plus, this little antenna is kind of adjustable, you know, pretty good. So this base. I think it's outstanding. I use it on my laptop. Uh, if I plug it, this into my laptop, uh, I just move it around the table with the base, great. You can plug this in directly to your laptop, to your tablet, if your tablet has a USB port in it, and obviously to your desktop. But on my laptop, if I plug this in, it kind of blocks the other USB ports because this part is so wide compared to this cable. You can see, so it kind of blocks my other port that I use for my mouse and the other stuff that I have on the laptop. So I rather use this anyways. I can kind of, if I put it into that port, it's kind of like where I use the mouse anyways, or close to it. So it kind of feels like, like it's in the middle or in the way. And with this, I can plug it in and kind of move it around to the other side of my table. Beautiful, perfect. And besides, it's, it's, you can put it somewhere where there's less things. So, you know, you work on your desk, you have a cup, cup of coffee, you have this, you have that, you have notepads, you have all this stuff. And this, instead of being right there on your laptop, 
you can kind of move it out of the way. I think this little stand, this little base is perfect. So it does come with the base. That's another pro right there. Um, the other thing is um, it has a little light here, so it does tell you when it's on. Comes with the software that you you know you install on the computer. Super easy, super super quick. Uh, you can use your Windows Wi-Fi, well, I guess software that it comes with to control this, or you can use the one that this one comes with. You can pick and choose. Doesn't really matter. I use the one that you know, Netgear provides. Super simple. You see the Wi-Fi networks. You connect to it. You put your password. You're good to go. So it gives you the speed and all that good stuff, but I still like to go through the net and, you know, kind of do a bandwidth speed test, which I will be showing you guys uh, as the video goes on. And I am going to show some close up videos, too. And the other thing is not only the uh, the angle on this thing, but you can use it closed. If you're close enough to the router, you're good to go. So it's it's a matter of preference. It's a matter of. Do you need it at a better angle? Because if you have it there, maybe some other things are blocking it. But like this, it's got, you know, has less interference or more clearance from your router to the antenna. Super handy. It is adjustable. So I like all those features in it. The, uh, the other thing that I think I should definitely mention is the range. With this thing, since you can kind of move it around, you get such better range than what I had let's say on my desktop, on my wife's desktop, on her office, the signal didn't go through well with, uh, the, you know, through the walls and all that good stuff. So when I got this, I, I got it first for my laptop. Then it was so good, I got it for her desktop because her desktop had, had decent speeds. They were okay, but we kind of thought it was more the computer than the Wi-Fi adapter. And it turned out that it was just the Wi-Fi adapter that that desktop had, it wasn't that good. So when we used this thing, it was like getting a new computer. It was like triple the speeds of the uh, internet. And it was like, man, you're super happy because you're like, wow, this thing works great. So again, we were able to move it around, plug it into the desktop, put it a little higher on a shelf or something like that. And, you know, adjust the antenna so there's less interference or it's more clear angle towards the router. And it went through the wall, great. With this thing, it was perfect for the desktop and the laptop. So all those things put together, I love this thing. I highly recommend it. And now, of course, for the cons. Cons, it is a little bulky. It's not one of those little USB Wi-Fi adapters, but you get what you pay for. Not only is this a little more, it ain't that much more, but it is a little more, but the, um, it's bulky. Like I said, if I plug it directly into my laptop with this thing, it, it seems like it's blocking other ports. It seems like it's just kind of like in the way a little bit more. You use this, that solves that problem. But again, it is kind of bulky. You can buy these. They look like a thumb drive and plug it in. That's a Wi-Fi adapter. I had one of those and I used it for my laptop and it was good. It was okay. But this thing kicks that one's butt. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But again, the con, it's a little bulky. It's about, I don't know, three and a half inches this way, maybe an inch and a half this way, and maybe not even an inch thick, but it is bulky. And it is bigger than most of those little USB Wi-Fi adapters. Especially if you use it with this, you can see that it does have a little bit more mass, even though with this, you can move it out of the way. So this helps. But again, I think that that's the only thing that I guess I can really find wrong. The price is another, if you get what you pay for. So it could be a con because it's a little more expensive, but again, you get what you pay for. Definitely worth the price. So I don't see it as a con for this specific product. I think this uh, Netgear adapter is awesome. I have a Netgear uh, um, router. So I don't know if it works better with each other or not. You know, some things they tell you, oh, you should, you know, get the same brand. I really don't think so. If it's in a router, it should work with any adapter. So, but in my case, I have them both and I think this is amazing. I'm gonna show you the speeds and from the original laptop Wi-Fi adapter, I'm getting 
definitely getting, definitely getting better speeds. So again, the cons, pretty much two things. It's a little bulky and maybe the price, maybe. It all depends what you're, you know, how much you're willing to spend. But if you're willing to spend a little more, definitely this one, worth it, kicks butt. That's it, people. There's nothing else. To me, this is an outstanding product. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's looking for something more reliable, something that they can kind of move around a little bit and something that's gonna give you better speeds. Especially if you have a laptop or a desktop that has a USB 3.0 in it, you're gonna get even better for performance than I'm getting because my laptop has a USB 2.0. It's backwards compatible, so you can use it. It doesn't really matter. Even if you have a really old computer, it'll still work. Uh, you're not gonna get as better speeds as if you had a 3.0, but it's better to have something that'll give you better speeds just in case later on you get a better you know, desktop, laptop, whatever, or whatever it might be. I still think this product kicks, but highly recommend it. And you know what, people? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or you're telling me, Pat, that product, I bought it and it wasn't good or whatever it might be, just send me a comment. Just send me a question. Send me whatever you, uh, you, know, you think about this. But please, let me know. If you liked the video, give me that thumbs up, people. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.